guys welcome back to another video and this one we'll be looking at coordinate and ratios and using two points on the line segment to find the value of a coordinate in somewhere that lies on the line and here we're given some ratios AC to CB is 3 to 1 this means that the length here is three times bigger than the length here okay so without further ado let's go now the first thing you want to know is, is um, how can we calculate this properly. So first things first, if you're familiar with ratios, we should know that 3 to 1 literally implies that there's 4 parts. So here we have 4 parts, which is split into 3 parts here and 1 part here. Now another thing we should notice is that this is you can use something called similar triangles. That is, if we build a triangle here, and another triangle here or and another one here technically we can easily work out the, the position of this of these points so the first thing to do is that to notice that this is three times the length so this implies that the distance here should also be three times at least a ratio of three to one from these two points and three to one from these two points so we need to know what this value is here and of course, from here we can work out this and this, and voila, we'll have C. So, firstly, what is the bottom corner? Well, firstly, we need to know what axis is on. So, on the x axis, if you look at this, minus 14 is here on the x axis, and then it goes all the way up to 8. Of course, this is in the same line as 8, it's just, it's just a bit lower. So, it's going to be 8 something. Now, for the y axis, we need, we need to know how high it is. Of course, it's not as high as 7, but it's definitely on the same line as minus 9 so this is the x and y now we calculate the distance between these two and that is firstly from minus 14 to 8 the way i do this is that i just sum up the absolute value so i'll do 8 plus 14 if, it's, if i'm working negative or you can do 8 minus minus 14 and this should give us 22 so the whole length is 22 of course, we want to take three parts for here and one part here. So I would take, to get the three parts here, we need, we need to firstly divide this 22 by four parts. And then what should this give us? Well, this should give us 5.5. And then to get three parts, well, we just multiply this by three. And 5.5 times three should give us 16.5. So here, the distance from here to here is 16.5 likewise guys so let's try let's try the height now okay now we've broken down this part let's try the height okay by the way it's not convenient to write like this like how i did it usually we would put this on another line so 5.5 times 3 will give us 16.5 okay now ignore now moving to the height what do we have well the height between here which is the difference between 7 and minus 9 Again, following the same method, I'll do 7 minus minus 9 to give us 16. So this is easily divisible by 4. Dividing by 4 should give us 4. So 16 divided by 4 will give us 4. This represents a single part. To get 3 parts, again, multiply this by 3. So this means from here to here or here to point there, let's just say these 3 parts represent a length of 12. And that's it guys so now all we do is pretty much use some maths so let's just think logically okay so from here to here we want to add 16.5 to minus 14 so adding 16.5 to minus 14 we should get a value of so let's just say point for point c we should get a value of so far 2.5 now from here i want to add 12 to minus 9 adding 12 to minus 9 will give you 3 and that's it guys, this would be the solution to the value of coordinate C. So anyway, I hope this video helps, so remember record. So the whole purpose is, is to use your ratios, notice that 3 to 1 means 3 parts, 1 part, so you want to draw a nice triangle. So coordinate is 3 parts, meaning that the length here to here is 3 parts, and of course the whole length is 4 parts, so 3 parts and 1 part make 4 parts. Knowing that this bottom right corner is actually represented by a triangle, we can easily work out any axis. So working out this corner here, we can work out this, and then we can work out this. And because of these two, we match up the key values and we get y, the C coordinate. 
Anyway guys, hope this helps and um, I'll see you again soon in the next video. Ciao for now and bye bye. So in this one, we'll be trying to figure out the value of this coordinate. Given that we'll give, we already know two other coordinates on the same line segment. Of course, in this problem, we're usually given a ratio. In this case, we're told that the, that the line AC to CB is given by 2 to 7. Now, what do we do with this? And first things first, are we okay with ratios? Well, before we do this question, we need to know what 2 to 7 parts mean. This means that this entire length has a weighted value of 2 parts, or can be represented as 2. This has a weighted value of 7 parts. So this means that the whole length of the line has a weighted value of 9 parts. I mean, you could call it units, but we'll stick to the word parts. The, the key idea is, is to notice that this straight line can be re-represented as a triangle because why? Because there's a technique known as similar triangles. And similar triangles tells us that we can easily find any point if we find these points. Okay, because remember, this is all on the x, y axis. So if you found a point here, the x axis here, uh, the y axis here, then of course it will be the same y axis here. If you found the x axis here, again, this would turn out to be the same. But the whole point of this is to find the distance. So this would easily give us the result. Now, without further ado, let's go. So, first things first, to, we need to take our time work at every single point. So, I always start from here between A and C. So, this tells us that we're going 5 across and 3 up. This is minus 1 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. At this point, where are we? Of course, we're not as high as 3, but we are, we are at 0. So, the y-axis would be 0. Now, the x-axis tells us that we're either minus 1 would be here, and this line represents 5. So, we are at 5. 5, 0. Again, if we drop down further, where are we here exactly? Well, this is the part where we need to work out. We can't work this out directly. So, hence, we use our coordinate here. Now, remember I told you that this part represents two parts? Of course, this whole line, of course, also represents two parts and seven. So, I'll make a key note here two and seven. That means that the distance here represents two parts. So that means the distance between zero and three equals two parts. Now, if that equals two parts, that means we need to find the value of the, the part here. And how do we do that? Well, if you think of this as a one whole line representing nine parts, then we should find one part. So divide both sides by two, we should get 1.5 equals one part and then times in by nine this will give us nine parts so 1.5 times nine should give us 13.5 so this means that the distance from here to here is 13.5 now let's do the same thing here okay so remember this this calculates the y the distance for the y-axis okay Let's try and do the x-axis now. So from minus 1 to 5 is a difference of 6. So 6 again represents, remember this line is also 2 parts and this is 7. So 2, 7 represents 2 parts. That means 1 part represents half of this is 3. Now to get the full length from here to here we need 9 parts. So that we need to multiply this by 9. So that means 3 times 9 is, that's it guys. 27. So the distance from B right to uh, on the same axis of A is 27. And now guys, this is this is where the B happens. So the beauty here is to simply just do the simple maths. Okay, so let me just quickly rub this thing out. So to get to B, we look at the x-axis uh, 0.5. So because we're going back by tw uh, by 27 from 5, the coordinate here B. At x axis will be 5 take away 27, which will give us minus 22. For the y axis, from 3, we're going down by 13.5. So 3 minus 13.5 should give us minus 10.5. And that's it, guys. That's literally how you find pretty much anything on a line segment. So the idea is to firstly convert whatever this line is. Or any given point by changing it into some 
right angle triangle of course it has to be right angle it's just to, if it wasn't clear work out the points between so suppose you had these two points a and c work out the length of a and the length of it and then using ratios multiply it by whatever the proportion is so divided by the value 2 for example and then times it by the total number passed which is 9 and done it will be the same process here to get the same from here to here and that's it guys um, I mean I hope this